experience good attitude people look for jobs actually with the tour operators here and uh, like I said I ended up getting a job um, before I got here so now I'm here for the fun of it <laughs> So, uh, have you volunteered before? 
What are some of your memorable experiences? Well, um... Friends, uh, met some interesting people. Have you, what, what, yeah. what do you think is the best part of volunteering? Well, the best part of volunteering is you do meet a lot of interesting people, which I really like. And as you start doing that, you start finding more and more opportunities, and it's really amazing how many things there are to do out there. And people really enjoy volunteers, and other volunteers also have an interest in it. So that's the fun part. Okay, tell us your name and tell us what you're doing here. Hi, I'm Tom Green. I'm a realtor from Bend, Oregon, and I'm here to help clean up Angel Island. <laughs> As a group of volunteers that are spending the day to work on making it a better place and protecting See, have I volunteered before? <laughs> yeah, I volunteer a lot because I'm on a city council and uh, I do a lot of different boards and things and river river restoration mostly in Oregon. Awesome. What are some of the the pros of volunteering? It makes you feel good. It makes you really feel good. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the reaction of people. I think by volunteering, it maybe will get more people to volunteer and just, uh, you know, make this a better society to live in. Perfect. Have you met? You're you're really outspoken. You're uh, uh, personable. Have you have you met a lot of people volunteering? And if you have, uh, you're the camaraderie. Oh. <laughs> I'll feed him. It's okay. How did you get in here? No, you're you're the one. Oh yeah, every, we've been here now for uh, two days, and just we're meeting people from all over the United States, and uh, it just you know you, you got this bond, and so it's just it's fun. You have a unique interest in travel and tourism, but uh, you know we all want to make this place a better place to go visit. I just wanted to introduce you to our new social network. Perfect. Taking a still loader. No, no. Nah. Hey, guys.
now. We're filming. <laughs> All day, probably. Introduce yourselves. Tell us where you're from. I'm Courtney um, from Massachusetts. We work for Colette Vacations. I'm Sandra I'm from Rhode Island. We work for Colette. Perfect. And what are you guys doing here today? Um, we're coming to help out, make a difference um, for Tourism Cares at Angel Island. Excellent. Have you ever volunteered before? She has. I haven't. This yeah, is my first this time is my second time with Tourism Cares. What did you guys do last time and was it a good time? Um, yeah, I went two years ago to New Orleans. It was fantastic. We did um, clean up to Louis Armstrong Park. Fantastic. Perfect. Uh, do you, so you do you volunteer often? And if you do, uh, what parts of it do you, what aspects of it do you like the, bo the best? Um, our company, we volunteer, volunteer a lot. We do um, different, you know, food um, shelters and We're pantries. Right. Um, I think it's just giving back and feeling they always do a bunch of stuff to make right that. it's just that feeling of giving back and making a difference do you uh, um, gosh, so you volunteer it quite often do you uh, would you recommend it to other people as a way to meet people as a way to oh, get absolutely. out of the house what what is like your favorite aspects of the actual way to meet new people meet new companies um, you know what I mean network. Everyone, network everyone's doing the same thing so it definitely makes an impact you know, get the word out there, spread the message, so mm -hmm. other companies will get involved in the future. Yeah, especially with Tourism Cares, you do, you meet so many different people from all around the world. It's fantastic. Perfect. My wife and I. Do I have food in my tea? Sorry? Yeah, you do. No, I don't. No. You're lying. No, you don't. Not at all. <laughs> okay, if you could introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what you're doing here. Hi, my name is Derek Hayden with Marshare, and this is my eighth Tourism Cares cleanup. And uh, Tourism Cares for me is just such an amazing uh, organization that really provides an opportunity to give back to communities that have great sites that attract visitors. And if people aren't able to look after them, guess what? Those those sites effectively die, and the reason for travel diminishes. So this is a great opportunity for the travel industry to give back and it's lovely meeting people as well. So we're here to work hard in the rain and uh, see us at the end of the day. We'll be covered head to toe in dirt and mud and that's what we love. Perfect. And you? Um, my name's Peter. I also work at my share. And this is my my first time with Tourism Care so I'm really excited about, about being here. I think for me it's more about the fact that it's about educating people to join in and have fun and meeting people and doing things you wouldn't normally do. I wouldn't normally get up this early, I wouldn't normally be here and in San Francisco on a rainy day like today. So it's all about the experience, so I'm really looking forward to it. Have you guys volunteered before and if you have, what are some of the more memorable experiences? For, for me, probably the most memorable one was Ellis Island, which was the very first Tourism Cares cleanup. That was in 2003, and I'd just become an American citizen one week before. So to be standing in the arrivals hall of Ellis Island as a new citizen and realize that just about every American has uh, been processed either through Ellis Island, and then of course, if you're anywhere from Asia, you would have been, quote, processed through Angel Island. So for me, this is like revisiting what was the very, very first Tourism Cares event. And since then, I think there's been like hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of man hours that have gone into cleanup operations. So it's pretty cool. Good morning. Um, I'm from Australia, obviously. And attention, so in please. Australia, Oh, give me one sec. Till they, uh, okay. Towards the visitor center, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure all of you know the famous uh, Mark Twain quote that 
the coldest winter he ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. So that's, you're getting a taste of what that's all about. I want to take just a minute to tell you a little bit about Angel Island. Angel Island is one of the 276 state parks in the California State Park System. Uh, it is the largest island in San Francisco Bay. It's 740 acres. Uh, it has a variety of vignettes that surround the island. It has a long history of activity starting back with the Native American occupation for thousands of years. It had a hundred years of military activity on the island. Uh, our, probably our most famous uh, vignette, you might say, is the, uh, the immigration station. And I know many of you may have worked at Ellis Island uh, for the same event some years ago. We are kind of known as the bookend of Ellis Island. Uh, the Angel Island Immigration Station had a whole different mission than Ellis Island. Very different story. Uh, but anyway, you guys unfortunately aren't going to have a lot of opportunity to visit all of the places on the island. It's a wonderful place and I hope you can all come back at some time in the future. But for today, I wanted to uh, welcome all of you and thank you again for coming and helping us out today. And I want to turn it over to Dan Sullivan, the uh, chairman of the board for Tourism Cares. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Angel Island. And thank you. Uh, we're so excited. We have about 300 people here. We've been doing the Tourism Cares events since 2003. We began Ellis Island uh, on the East Coast in New York, and that was the first event we've done. We've done so many. We've done them every year. We've done numerous ones every year, and want to thank everyone for coming out because it's a great chance to give back and really to some of the sites that have made America great. So it's, uh, I just want to thank you all for taking time to get away from uh, get your work schedule today and come out and help us all to such a great, great project here at Angel Island. So uh, let's have a great day working out in uh, Angel Island. I'm sure the weather will clear up during the day. And at this point, I want to introduce our executive director, uh, Bruce Beckham. Thank you, Danny. Uh, I just want to say again, and uh, Echoing what Dan says, thank you so much for coming out here today. And I know you're all very anxious to get get going and get to work this morning. Uh, we have a couple of just a few announcements, um, but uh, one of the things that uh, is probably one of the more difficult things uh, for me to do uh, my duty this morning uh, is to um, recognize uh, the unfortunate passing of a board member of Tourism Cares, a good friend of mine for 35 years. And uh, basically the reason I have this job, uh, the president of USTOA, Bob Whitley, passed away just a, f a few weeks ago, and uh, he will be sorely missed. And uh, he was scheduled to be here, and his two sons, Sean and Scott, are here. Uh, but he was scheduled to be here, he was at every one of these, and it was one of his favorite things as much as he traveled around the world to a hundred and something different countries. One of his favorite things to do was to come and help and give back and, and work at the Tourism Cares for America projects. So uh, what I would like to do is uh, just, uh, if I could, take a moment of silence uh, in memory of our good friend Bob Woodley. Thank you very much. Just a couple of housekeeping notes here. Um, when you get to work, your lunches will be delivered to your, to your work site. Uh, you can have some snacks out there. You've got your water bottles. There are containers of water, and you keep yourself hydrated. It doesn't have to come from the top. It can come from, us from the bottle, so we're going to keep the rains away. Um, and um, I just want to make sure that you, uh, uh, when you get finished up with your work this afternoon, we're going to have a barbecue right back here uh, and a, an opportunity for you all to talk about what, you, what work you did and and what you did today in, in giving back. Um, also, um, I want to make sure that you, uh, when you get back, when we get back to uh, San Francisco, you have some opportunity to go back to your rooms and, and uh, freshen up, maybe take a nap or something like that. But there is a great, great party going on tonight at the Hard Rock, sponsored by Hard Rock Cafe and uh, in Switzerland. And uh, 
we would like to make sure that you get back there. Uh, you'll receive a wristband when you get on the, on the ferry to go back. You'll receive a wristband, that, and your name tag will, uh, uh, will be your admission. Um, there will be food there, some uh, hors d'oeuvres and so on, some appetizers. So, you know, go on out to dinner if you wish, but there's going to be food at the Hard Rock, and that starts at 9 o'clock this evening. Lisa, do I have any other? Okay. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce to you um, the guy who has actually put this whole work schedule together, and he's here with the park, Gerald O'Reilly. Oh man, that angel. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Thanks for coming out today. It's going to be the blue and purple group. It'll be close to the first round and go to the second track. It's going to be a big group. <laughs> Even closer. Okay. Even closer. All right. Okay, so uh, Drew first. Introduce yourself. Tell us where you're from and what you're doing here. Hey, uh, my name's Drew Edwards. I'm originally from Chicago and I've been a bit of a vagabond for about four years. Oh, give me one sec. Nice. That's all right. Nice. They'll wait for us. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're we got, pretty we much run your team, really good excuse. So, so it's okay. Yeah, I'm from, uh, originally from Chicago, and I've been working for this company, Truck America. We do tours, uh, inter we take international travelers all over the states. And yeah, so that's what brought us here. Uh, we're here representing our company for the next couple days, doing the volunteer work, slash enjoying the benefits like the muffins and whatnot. Muffins. Perfect. Have you volunteered well, before? And if you have, what are some uh, what are some of the good points? Of it? I've done uh, I've done volunteer work all over the world actually, and it's been it's been really good. And obviously, it's nice. Uh, aside from the benefits of helping the environment, the local people, Angel Island, the Park Service, like you also get 300 people together who don't know each other, and it's like a really positive community out here. So um, it's nice just bringing people together who have common interests, common goals, and it's and it's a lot of fun. Perfect. And again, the muffins are just fantastic. Awesome. Um, do you remember, uh, can you uh, uh, just tell people about uh, one particular uh, trek you did, one particular volunteer one, duty? One volunteer duty? Yeah. Uh, anywhere in the world. Or, oh, great. Any come to mind? Yeah, well, there's a great one, actually. There was uh, recently, I was volunteering in South America in the Amazon, and I'm hauling bags of rocks, uh, burlap sacks of, of rocks up a, up a trail over and over again. And I'm thinking I'm all hardcore, like I'm volunteering, this is great. And then right next to me, uh, carrying another burlap sack of rocks up a hill with a baby strapped to her back is this little local uh, you know, woman who lived in the village I was working in. And, and it was very humbling to see, like, here I'm thinking I'm doing all this great stuff. And it was just, you know, part of the life for them. But it was, uh, it was a beautiful moment, very humbling. And, uh, yeah, it was really, really special for me. Very eye-opening to see how other cultures. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Definitely. That was one Definitely. of your favorites? That was one of my favorites, yeah. Okay, cool. There's, there's heaps of them. That's perfect. Excellent, yeah. man. Great. Uh, Thank do you want you. to talk about... Uh, Trek America, or if you want me to, man, yeah, please like, tell yeah. us a little bit about it. Sweet, um, I'll just hop on that as it goes by. I'll run and catch it. Uh, Trek America, we do tours for international travelers, so we take foreigners from all over, mostly uh, England and, and European countries, but we get all over um, the Middle East and Asia, and we take them on tours throughout the U.S. doing uh, mostly camping, state parks, national parks, but we also occasionally stay in uh, cities, San Francisco, Chicago, L.A. And we just do a lot of hiking, a lot of adventure activities, a lot of like cultural background, and just have a good time, kind of show America from uh, more of a local point of view. Perfect. Have you ever been to Angel Island? And uh, uh, if you haven't, have you? So my, I spent heaps of time in San Francisco. This is my first time in Angel Island, so I'm pretty excited to be here. It's obviously a beautiful place, and He's not here yeah, it looks great. I've got a lot of history here, so I'm, I'm happy to be here. Perfect. Cool. I'm going to get a close up of your name and everything from the titles. Fantastic. Trek America. Missing link. Now look at him. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Okay. Sorry. Here, look at him. All right. Well, it's busy. Well, where do we start? Might be. I guess you just jump in. Is this too big? Uh, yeah. I need, I need somebody. For mine, would stove all of it's too big. I love it. It's a great little steak. Uh, well, 
I've been in this industry for 25 years and this is just a way to do something for the industry and give a little bit back along the way. Introduce yourself. But... Uh, Roy Stearns, S T E A R N S, Deputy Director, State Parks. Perfect. Um, tell us what we're doing here, please. What we're doing here is helping state parks in a time of great need. When you look around all of our state parks, you're going to find that we have a lot of edges that look pretty tattered. Uh, and this is a group that has come out here, put their money where their mouth is, and said, We want to help. We've got destinations in states and federal properties where the tourism industry is important here in California. It's one of the most important industries that we have in the state. So if these people come here and make us healthy, then California's economy stays healthier. We couldn't thank them enough. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That cough. I know. I'll jump, you can B-roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get fired for that one. Oh, no. Heavens. Okay. Um, Tell us what, what exactly they're doing right back behind you. Not... That's a damn good question, and I think uh, the other Roy would be better at that. Okay. I can say <laughs> we'll get, stacking wood, we'll get to that. but the basis for where that wood came from and uh, the story behind that wood, I don't have it. Do you You're have on it? that. We'll get okay. it. Okay, give us a, a really brief uh, uh, tell hey, us where Sorry, we're... I'm going to interrupt. This is, this uh -huh. is oh. tacky. That this looks great. Tacky. That looks tacky. Okay. <laughs> okay, give us a brief history of... Uh, Makeup, wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a what? A brief history of Angel Island, just for people that don't know. It's an it's island in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you probably want the Reader's Digest version. When you think of the history of Angel Island, you got to go back 10,000 years to the earliest settlers that were in this area, the Indians who came here uh, and used this as a place to live and to fish from. Coming forward, it became a Civil War camp during the uh, Civil War to protect the gold shipments going out of here to pay for the Union Army. Coming forward from there, he played a role in World War II uh, as an embarkation place for troops and a coming home place for troops from World War II. Coming forward from that, uh, it was in the Cold War. We have Nike missile sites on this island. It was also called the Ellis Island of the West, where people came and entered the United States for the first time in the early 1900s. So this. This particular plot of ground in the middle of Angel Island, uh, in the middle of San Francisco Bay, rather, is probably steeped in more history than any other four and a half miles of shore anywhere around this area. Perfect. Excellent. Is that okay, Roy? Yeah. No, that's not, that sounds good. You do that so well. Good. Yeah, I know. Totally. <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> you had a couple years' experience, I know. So. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What else? Um, today, how many people? <laughs> how many people view? Uh, I don't know if you know these facts, but uh, a lot of people. How many people come to the island a yearly? Something you like know that, that, don't you? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. It's more than that, isn't it? 
Not, not lately. Oh. No. <laughs> That's why you're here. But tell us some of the uh, the things that go that go wrong here. Some of the uh, the fire, perhaps, or a couple years ago. What what uh, or trail restoration? Is that what we're working I on? I think Roy knows a lot more of the in depth on that than I do. You want to interview him? Please, please. Okay. That's awesome. Introduce yourself and tell us your title, if you don't mind. Uh, Roy McNamee, M C N A M E E. I'm the acting superintendent for Angel Island State Park. Perfect. That's great. Uh, Describe how Angel Island's used these days. You know, we've got the history. one of the questions you I asked know, him. I know, I know, but they always do this. They're going to swap you. <laughs> we've gotten the, the history of it. How's it used these days? Uh, you know, Angel Island's a destination for a lot of visitors that come into San Francisco. It's, it's backdropped uh, from San Francisco. A lot of times you see it from Fisherman's Wharf. And people end up coming over here because they're curious about what Angel Island's all about. So we get, we get visitors coming from all over the world. Uh, a lot of them come from their visits to, to the little town of Tiburon, across Raccoon Straits from here. Uh, a lot of them come from the San Francisco, from the Fisherman's Wharf area, that, and they come from all over the world. Most of those folks are coming, uh, lately, they're coming because they've heard the story of the uh, immigration station on Angel Island. Briefly, what is that story? <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly. Uh, between 1910 and 1940, uh, immigration in on the west coast of California was primarily through the immigration station here on Angel Island. Uh, and primarily there was immigration for the Asian countries. So it's really recognized as a Chinese immigration, however that's not completely true. There was immigration from many, many countries through Angel Island. But the interesting part of the uh, Angel Island story is that unlike the Ellis Island story, we all have that image of Ellis Island with their arms stretched out welcoming people into the United States. The, the mission of the Angel Island Immigration Station was more of a control point, <clears throat> and it was often referred to as the uh, guardian of the Western Gate, and it was to enforce the 1892 Chinese Exclusion Act. Excellent. Okay, uh, tell us some of the hardships that are facing Angel Island today. Well, the, the primary hardship we're having is uh, not knowing our future funding source. Uh, we are uh, struggling financially to, uh, to keep the department afloat. And uh, there's proposals coming through channels that, you know, keep us unknowing what's going to happen in the future. I really wish you were talking to Roy Stearns about that. You know, really. <laughs> you, you can you, turn yeah. the camera on me. <laughs> okay. You, you should, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This looks good. Oh, shoot. Probably the biggest problem we face is a stable funding source. For the last 10 to 20 years, we have been underfunded in many areas. Uh, we're short people. Um, what that means is we've been deferring maintenance for, for literally decades. Um, our maintenance, deferred maintenance now is now over $1.2 billion. That's with a B. Because when budget times are bad, usually your maintenance is the first thing you set aside and you try to keep people. But if you look around the system, you see it's tattered here and there and is in need of repairs, restoration. That's why we're glad these people are here today. So for the future, more than anything, we need a stable funding source uh, to make this system healthy for the future. Excellent. That's it. What's going on today here is that Start um, again. Some, some, of the some of the work that's going on here today is things like what's happening right here next to us is... Uh, this group has come up and we have piles of firewood that was generated from some of the work in the immigration station years ago. And we're trying to capitalize on that firewood and not let it go to waste and use it to heat some of the homes here on the island. So we have been uh, we're making an effort to clean them up, to stack them, to, to salvage as much of the wood as we can. Some of the other work that's going on is some ditches around the island that are integral to the drainage systems on the island to keep the island from uh, sliding during heavy rains. And uh, so we're doing some ditch cleaning. There's other places on the island where we have some uh, plants that were uh, planted years ago and they had small cages around them to protect them from deer. Now the plants have matured and uh, those cages are no longer needed, but they're still there. So we're going and removing all of those. Uh, there's some just general cleanup going on down in the entry point to the island in Ayala Cove. We have some uh, building that's being clean, a little bit of paint that's going to be put on. Uh, we have some walkways, uh, again, down in the cove that uh, have some bad spots in the walkways, and we're uh, repairing those. Perfect. Excellent. Tell how, uh, 
Um, if you appreciate the uh, volunteers and uh, um, what kind of, uh, I don't know, gosh, what am I trying to say? What, uh, you want me to think? How they help, you know? <laughs> Just uh, describe uh, if someone was asking you, gosh, I'd like to volunteer, but I'm not too sure, would I be helping? How do we answer that? Um, yeah. I know. Well, if you are interested in volunteering on Angel Island, we we have a, a volunteer program. And you can contact Angel Island directly and talk to the volunteer coordinator. And it could involve a number of things. We have two primary areas that, for volunteering. One is for uh, public presentation. You could get involved with giving tours, perhaps, at the immigration station, if that was a strong point of yours. Or other locations on the island, including camp rentals. Uh, or the East Garrison, where we have these uh, historic sites that people are interested in hearing the history. <clears throat> if you're more hands-on, uh, we have some maintenance activities that go on on the island, and uh, th that work could be done by volunteers as well. Perfect. That's excellent. Is there any last words you'd like to say to uh, Tourism Cares and the volunteers? Well, what Tourism Cares is doing here today is magnificent. Uh, I think there's about 300 volunteers here today, and if you uh, if they all put in, what, five hours of work? What is that, 150, 15,000? I don't, I'm, I'm doing the math wrong here, but <laughs> there's a lot of hours generated in work here today. And the, uh, the staff on the island is uh, small. We have um, maybe at, at the most between seasonal and permanent staff, we have maybe a half a dozen uh, maintenance people working on the island. Uh, we have two rangers working on the island, and then we have some tour, tour guides as well. So between all of those people, you know, at the peak of our season, we're lucky to have uh, 18 to 20 staff working here. Well, today we have 300 here, and so the kind of work they're doing today is uh, just tremendous. We, we can't accomplish this kind of work um, without investing weeks and months of our own staff time. Stay in the quartermaster's building. Yeah, and they have activities that you know. There are some kids that <coughs> are supposed to stay up all night. And wave, wave. And wave. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, 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 yeah. you go. Stole my thunder. <laughs> yeah. One more wave. That's a good one. Right. Don't move. Okay. I want to get served. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cool. Can I ask you some questions for the travel panel? Excellent. Just introduce yourselves. Tell us your uh, um, positions. Renee Skolnick, assistant to the state director and the senator when she's here in San Francisco. Um, senator Feinstein's office. And? and Christina Fress, field representative to U.S. Senator Diane Feinstein. Awesome. What brings you to Angel Island today? We came to uh, view the project and just observe. Yeah. Any thoughts? Is it uh, this this specific spot is trying to get more people to or uh, showcase people that are volunteering and. Uh, uh, helping out the environment, envir environmental uh, volunteering. Do you guys have any thoughts uh, about that? Better a thought than I would be. Please. Well, Angel Island is such a beautiful tourist attraction here in the San Francisco Bay Area, and the senator has always been supportive. She's uh, secured federal funding in the past to restore the island, and it's you know a great day to be out here and show support to all the volunteers. And we're very excited to see what's in store. Perfect. <laughs> the steps are done!
You can walk now. <laughs> No, just keep working. Okay, keep working. That's good. I cannot be looking my best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting you from here up, it looks good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, introduce yourself and tell and tell us where you are. Hi, I'm Diane from Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, and I am here with Tourism Cares just to give back. That's what we're here for. We want to make America a better place and keep tourism alive. Perfect. What are you doing today? I am cleaning up leaves and needles and raking and bagging pine needles and disposing of them. Excellent. And uh, have you volunteered before? Is this your first time? Uh, what do you think of it? This is my fourth time and I love it. And I will keep coming back every year as long as I can. Perfect. What are your favorite parts about volunteering? Are there specific things, meeting um, people or? Well, in particular, Virginia City, after we were done with St. Mary's Cathedral, it was such a wonderful feeling to be able to restore something of such beauty. And um, just being here out in the open with a lot of people wanting to do the same things, it's, it's what it's all about. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> hey, whenever you're ready, let's start. What's your name? Hi, I'm Max. I'm Alex. I'm Evan. I'm Elijah. We, we go to Mount Tam School, and uh, we were just having fun here, and then uh, they asked us if we wanted to uh, help, and so we, we said sure, helping. sure. Oh, sounds great. Uh, Keep Angel yeah. Island looking good. Perfect. Nice. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're shoveling up the yeah. sticks and stuff from the little picnic area. Wait, one more time and facing this uh, way? We're shoveling the big sticks and pine needles, and pine into, needles bags. into bags to make the picnic area look cleaner and stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Have you ever guys ever volunteered or helped out before cleaning up a uh, environment? Uh, yeah, we, yeah. We did. We uh, cleaned up a marsh. Yeah. And we had we had to cut down all these like little stalks uh, that ate all the vegetation. Yeah. And um, we also did Cub Scouts and helped out Muir Woods. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. A lot of people would just come and and. Uh, see this happening and just keep walking. Why did you guys stop? What made you guys? Well, we were actually eating lunch. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it feels good to help, so why yeah. not? Perfect. <laughs> good. Introduce yourself, uh, your position, and tell everybody where we are. Uh, my name is Bruce Beck. I'm on the executive director of Tourism Cares, and we're here at Angel Island in uh, San Francisco Bay with 300 people from the tourism industry from all over the country. From 30 different states and two countries and 100 different companies have come in here to volunteer for a day to help uh, uh, clean up Angel Island, which uh, needs some help because of budget cuts in the state park system in California. That's perfect, excellent. You do this, uh, from what I understand, you do this all over the country. 
Yeah, we've, this is our eighth year, and we do this as an annual project. Uh, we've been to Ellis Island, we've been to New Orleans a couple of times on different projects before and after Katrina. Down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, we've been to uh, the forest around Mount Vernon in Virginia after a hurricane uh, to take out some uh, wood out of the forest to help prevent forest fires. And we've been to Virginia City, Nevada, which is a little town uh, just outside Reno and Carson City. It's up in the mountains and probably better known as you know where the Cartwrights went from in Bonanza. Uh, but I will tell you right now that Hop Singh, when he jumped in his buckboard to go to Virginia City from uh, the Ponderosa, would have taken about three weeks instead of three hours. But uh, it's up high in the mountains, and it was a little town that really needed some help, and, and uh, we went in there and we cleaned up what the Cartwrights couldn't. Awesome. Um, the volunteers, uh, how do you, uh, do they come to you? Do you recruit them? Are there a lot of return customers? I'm going to scoot this way. Yeah. Uh, we get our volunteers from all over the tourism industry, and uh, there are a number of repeaters. And, you know, if you, if you would go around this island right now and see the people, uh, and you ask them, a lot of them have been here several times, or been, you know, on these projects several times. Seems like it. What, uh... Huh, that's not good. What, um, let me think. Is there anything, this is, uh, this piece is geared towards, uh, volunteers getting them, uh, getting inside more of a personal one-on-one -on -one with them and trying to, uh, get other people to volunteer. So, um, what do you think people get out of volunteering? What do you, what have you noticed? Well, yeah, what we, what we look for when we do these projects is what we look for is what, you know, what I call the over-the-shoulder look. I mean, you walk into some place at 9 o'clock in the morning and do some work. And 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you look over your shoulder and you, you see that you've made a difference. And so that's what we look for, and this is what people really enjoy. We have people out here on this island right now who are doing things that they normally would pay people at home to do. Uh, so they don't do this kind of yard work. I mean, my wife's out there, she's with the Boston Globe, and she likes to garden and that kind of stuff, but she's never run into, run into weeds like she has you know, out there at the immigration station. And she's wielding a an axe type uh, hoe uh, digging up weeds and she's working hard. She's going to be sore this afternoon. <laughs> Perfect, exactly. Uh, is there any last things you'd like to say to uh, people that have volunteered or people that well, will volunteer? Or? Well, I mean, this is a very, very gratifying for Tourism Cares to have all these people who have spent their own money to fly uh, across the country to come to San Francisco and to Angel Island and many of them they hadn't even heard of Angel Island prior to this. But you know, so it's not the fact that you know, Tourism Cares put it on the map for sure. It's just the fact that you know they heeded the call, they responded to the call to volunteer, and uh, we're just so thankful that they did because you know 300 people to come, you know, to, to do this in one day is going to be a great accomplishment for everybody. We're recording. Uh, introduce yourself, what company, and tell us where we are. I'm Bill St. Clair, and uh, I'm with Tauk, and this is Armin. Armin Geiger with Tauk as well. He works in the office. I work on the road. What does Tauk do? We are a uh, luxury tour company. All over the world, over 100 itineraries worldwide. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, where are we, and what are you guys doing here? We're at Angel Island, and we're helping with Tourism Cares, helping to kind of preserve and, and take care of some of our, our beautiful historical spots here in the Bay Area. It's the second time Tauk's been involved, by the way. Yeah, making a lot of progress out here. Yes. Uh, moving tile, as you can see, these uh, pallets are starting to collapse. and uh, We're rebuilding the missions, actually, is what we're doing here. Yeah. 
Armin and I, like, Armin and I are enjoying ourselves out yes, here. Yes, we are immensely. It's a, it's a good, it's a good team of people to work with. We've got plenty of chiefs, a few engine, a few Indians, and we're good. Excellent. What, um, what you guys do last time? Uh, we painted the immigration center about six years ago when we did a something concurrently with uh, uh, with Ellis Island as well. We did sort of a concurrent thing where they did something on Ellis Island and we did it here on Angel Island to commemorate, uh, uh, I think it was an uh, anniversary of Ellis Island, but we did it out here as well. Awesome, cool. But we only had 11 people, now we have uh, 300. Yeah, a lot of manpower. <laughs> and a lot of these companies, Tauk included, uh, we do a lot of work with the uh, state parks. So it's, you know, it's something that uh, benefits everybody. Exactly. Is that, uh, let me ask you, you, you seem to um, value uh, volunteering, oh, at absolutely. least for here. Can absolutely. you, uh, uh, why? why? I mean, obviously it's hard work. Well, it's hard work, but it's, it's again, it's, it's giving back, and it's also just a, just a, a matter of keeping things uh, in a, such a way that people will come back and visit them more, and, and, and tourism is so important to us in the Bay Area. For Talc, obviously, who goes all over the world, but for us here in the Bay Area, it's our lifeblood, our economic lifeblood, and, it, and it's only right that we give something back, something that gives everybody so much here in the Bay Area. Yeah, we bring our customers to uh, national parks, state parks, yeah. and uh, it is a way for us to say thank you, you know, and, uh, and to, to help preserve this. Yeah. We'll, actually get, we'll actually get guests on their free day at a national park sign up ahead of time and volunteer to fix fences and paint picnic tables and things like that. These are folks that actually paid to be on a trip. And they gladly take their one free day. It. And they love it. Yeah. And they love it. It's just neat. So people really feel like they are participating in a wonderful heritage that we have. Okay, we're rolling. Introduce yourself, your company, and tell us where we are. Uh, Bob Chafee with Wyndham Hotel Group and Wyndham Worldwide, and we're out at Angel Island off the coast of San Francisco doing some cleanup with Tourism Cares. Perfect. So why uh, you're here representing... Uh, Wyndham, Wyndham Hotel Group and our greater company, Wyndham Worldwide. Uh, our hotel group is comprised of uh, 11 hotel brands from Wyndham down to Ramada, Days Inn, Super 8, uh, and several others and our greater company is also Wyndham Vacation Ownership. Um, we've got four folks here, and we've done every Tourism Cares because we wouldn't miss it. It's, uh, it's just doing the right thing, giving back. Perfect, you say giving back, doing the right thing, it's important to you. Um, obviously, you're out here um, breaking a sweat. <laughs> um, dirty gloves. You've done it every year. Uh, um, any memorable times, uh, trips? As a, as a history buff, I think Gettysburg was a real treat uh, to do, and Mount Vernon. Um, I, did, I didn't personally do the first one, but a couple others on our team uh, were there as well for Ellis Island and to help the folks on the Gulf Coast. Uh, they've all been good. Good. Uh, you guys are a major sponsor. It's really important to you. Can you... why? I mean, why is it... Well, it's... it's like I said, it's doing the right thing, and, and the right thing is preserving uh, some of these great historic sites for not only for our future generations but from the visitors from around the world that come and, and enjoy the U.S. It's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a, nice, a, a nice way to give back. Perfect. Can you tell me uh, where, you, do you, where are you based out of? Where do you live? Or? I'm, I'm based in Tempe, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix, and my team uh, is remote based all around the country. Uh, our headquarters are in Parsippany, New Jersey. And uh, you know, we, we spend a lot of time traveling, so in the virtual world, it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. Okay. How are they doing down there on the uh, tiles? Oh, you know, lots of engines. Not very many chiefs. That's why I thought I would 
go for the. Uh, yeah, I got a big piece. Good guy. Yeah. The photo off here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is the way to go, man. That tile job. Back to later. Okay. This is where this is where the poison up would be. Anything yeah. The bricks? What's that? Anything for the bricks? Uh, I, I I couldn't find a loose brick for to find the treasure chest. But the booty. <laughs> yeah. This thing's probably about like 200 pounds. Oh no, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. So we got a snake we he can photograph to show that we're not hurting the wildlife? <laughs> no, 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 no uh, animals were harmed.